Well, we are finally back on the beach. It has been an absolute age. I don't think I got out at all last year. Various different reasons. I mean, I've been the other side of the camera for, well, all of it, to be honest. We've done a lot of freshwater videos last year, but we're back out today. We're at Kessingland, and fingers crossed, we're gonna try and catch a few fish for you, but it is a terrible, terrible time of year for sea fishing. Not just around East Anglia, but pretty much around the country. It is February now and yeah, it is probably one of the, let's say, poorest months in the sea fishing calendar. Now, not, not to start it on a downer because I'm just really excited to be back on the beach and to have two rods fishing, but yeah, there's not a lot about really. It's sort of a bit of an in-betweeny period of time. You know, the, the tradi well, traditionally, back in the day, the winter fish like the cod, they'd be gone. After Christmas, they'd be gone. And that's mainly because they were feeding up in the water on the sprats you know so they're not interested in your little worm baits on the bottom and then obviously the summer fish spring and summer fish aren't here yet so yeah i don't know how today's going to go but what we're going to do today small baits small fish probably little little neat rigs little neat baits probably fishing fairly close in and uh yeah see if we can catch them flatty so i'm just going to get this second rig baited up and then probably we'll have a little look at one of them out there now. They've been out about 10 or so minutes, so just get that early cast in, check the bait situation and stuff like that. But we'll get this baited and uh, see if we can kick the session off with a fish. Well, let's have a little look. The first wind in of 2023. I've had one eye on the tips and we've not had um, any rattles or anything, so I'm not too sure if there's gonna be anything on here. But as I say today, really, small fish probably today, small baits, close in fishing, and see if we can catch a few flatties anyway. But yeah, it is just really, really, really nice to be back out. Got a nice day for it as well. Not meant to be any rain, importantly. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's a little bit chilly, but we'll take that. It's February after all. But what have we got? We have got a little fish, a bit of weed in there. <laughs> and that, believe it or not, hopefully something bigger than that, but that is what we've come for today. Little dab, it's quite a good beach for dabs. You can see it's mainly, mainly sandy, fair depth of water, and um, yeah. Nice, we'll get him unhooked, get him back, and uh, have a look at the other one. Well, scent card of the day. And it feels like there's a little bit of weight on here. There was obviously a little bit of weed on that first one, so that could be a bit of that, but it feels very, very fishy. We've got a little free hook rig on here as well, so might be more than one. But it's not too far away now. And we'll see what we've got. <laughs> no. That felt fishy, did it? <laughs> I think it's just because it's winded in this Christmas tree of a rig, I think. Mm. It's got a bit, unless one's dropped off, I think I'll say that, but check him out. Can you, can you fit I him come, all in? I'll come a bit closer. <laughs> I, I generally think, now if you'd have watched a lot of our beach fishing videos, I am uh, pretty accustomed to catching tiny white in. But I generally think that could be the smallest I've ever caught. He is absolutely minuscule, but yeah. We'll get him unhooked and then we'll tell you a little bit more about the rigs we're using and what we're gonna do for the rest of the session. Well, I know I um, teed up small fish today, but I wasn't quite thinking that small, if I'm honest with you, but I think it's going to be the name of the game. Hopefully, as I say, we're going to catch some, some flatties today, like that dab we had first. They do get some fairly 
nice ones along here and I have done in the past we have done a video here before targeting them but I mean when we were down here last time there was actually a little a little boat netting I mean I think he was only he was only drift netting for heron or something like that and I wandered up to see him and he had a um, lovely bag of flatfish I think he, had a, he even had a little sole in there so that got me thinking and one thing he said he went boy he said don't cast too far out here if you want the flatfish he said they're all in close so <clears throat> that's what we're going to try today now the first rig we've got is the one we just had that little whiting on which is a I say a little bit of a Christmas tree it's the traditional sort of flatty rig I guess got these little wide booms on three hooks just keeps the keeps the snood away from your, your rig body and I don't know what's popular about these I mean I don't know does this help keep it pinned to the bottom a little bit more I don't know but they've been used for years and years and years and years and actually a guy I used to go out boat fishing with they would all he used to use so we're gonna give that one a try and then secondly if I can find it we have got this one here which is what I had the first flatty on and this is a more traditional two hook flapper I can just untangle it but what we've got on here it's a lot lot longer snoods on here as you can see there that's probably three times the length of that other one and small hooks again but we've got a little bit of bling there's a little spinner blade and some beads and you know I make no no lie I, I, I don't get time to make my own rigs I used to you know but I just simply don't get time now so buy this straight out of the packet good to go and that's all I've done today but one thing I am going to do with this one a little bit different I'm just going to fish it with a rolling lead so there's no no spikes on this one so it's not going to grip in and um yeah it just allows you to explore a little bit out in front of you so you fish this as depending on what way the tide's going you fish it on the outside and just let it roll around and hopefully it's going to find some fish but I've used it on this one as well just because the snoods are a little bit longer and I thought the whole thing is going to you know roll more nicely than the, the short little snoods on that but we'll get it back out there and see if we can't show you a few more fish as we get on on this one on the rolling lead and the rig a bit of bling another flatty a little white in we'll get them unhooked we'll get them back had my smallest white in and he could potentially be up there as a contender as the smallest flatty but white in on the top hook him on the bottom but we're catching a few fish anyway getting a few bites and yeah after so long away that's what it's all about but we'll get back well I can't tell you how nice it is to be back on the beach and say it's been absolutely ages and yeah, well, no, it's nice to get a few fish, even though I wasn't quite banking on them being that small. I know I said small fish, but yeah, they are a different level. But I just thought while I'm baiting this spare rig up, I just thought I'd tell you a little bit more about the baits we've got with us. So, got some good old blow lug here. Actually, um, went out yesterday with my partner and my little girl. Went to sharing and picked them up from Pete, Pete Faircloth. Always get good bait from him. Usually, I tend to go there more in the spring and summer you know when I'm, I'm heading out that way for the hounds and stuff like that but he managed to sort us out a hundred worm yesterday which is always um you know the bulk of my baits pretty much I say apart from from in the sort of spring and summer and then one thing I have got is I walked past a, a fishmongers in Sherring yesterday 
and I thought I'd get some sprats. Now I got a bag of them, I think that was like a quid for all them, something like that. Now you see it's a, a small little bait fish really. Now traditionally, years ago when there was a lot more codling about, before Christmas, they used to obviously be feeding on the bottom and for whatever they could get their hands on, but come after Christmas, that was used to be the, the arrival of these, and obviously a massive, massive shoal fish, and the codling used to come up in the water and feed on these mid-water. So that's why traditionally, you know, after Christmas, January, February, was always a, a tougher time for beach anglers. But all I'm doing with them is just making some really, I don't know if you'll see it, tiny, tiny little strips, putting a worm on, and then literally just hooking it once through so you get a really neat little cocktail bait. Now, two reasons, whether it's gonna make much difference, I don't know, but I guess you've got a little bit of flash there, color, extra bit of scent, and it just helps keep that hook point clear as well. But that's all free baited, so I think what we'll do is, which we'll probably check on them now, it's probably been 10 or so minutes, and get this back out there. Cast very far out again, I don't know, it's probably only like 50 yards, something like that. It's a nice flat sea today, which is probably um probably what you want if you if you're targeting flat fish is a general rule, you know, they don't really like it stirred up by a washing machine, you know, big rollers and that coming in. They like it pretty flat. It feels like there's a little bit of weight on here. What have we got? Another little <laughs> flat to show you. And he is, I don't know, see he's a bit of coloration there on the underside. Now I don't know whether I don't really know what happens. I know they stay that they start life, believe it or not, as a as a round fish, and as they get older their eyes migrate around the side of their head. But I don't know if that's something to do with the, the coloration there or pigment in the skin, but I've heard people call them like green dabs, but I don't know if that's just a nickname for him, but he is tiny. Day on the little boom rig, <laughs> you can see the sizes of them. I'm really disappointed actually with size of the dabs. I know at this time of year the white intend to be smaller because a lot of the bigger fish will have moved off, but I really thought we might pick up some bigger flatties today, but they just don't seem to be there, you know. But I say February is a tough time, but pretty much. Well, I don't think we haven't. We haven't had a fish, we haven't had a cast without a fish yet, but they've all been that sort of size. But we'll get these sorted out, get it back out there. first blank cast of the day but to be fair we are 
well come towards the end of the session now to be honest with you I mean we're pretty much as well at the top of the tide I think it was about four o'clock today high water so we've just fished up we didn't get down until probably about midday by the time the first rod went out but it's been a busy busy session even if they only have been tiny tiny fish but it's still been as I said I know I've said it two or three times now really enjoyable and nice to get back on the beach after you know a long time off I guess but I was going to say on that note really I mean we did we did have some plans to travel and we still got them plans you know so hopefully this year we're going to be concentrating again a little bit more on the on the beach fishing so if there's anyone you know you've got a bit of good fishing around the country and yeah perhaps would like to point us in the right direction or even come have a fish with us you know if you've got somewhere especially perhaps as we we get towards the springtime you know there might be a few spring codling around so no I'm a, a little bit negative sometimes because I know there was a few locally around you know just before Christmas but we didn't manage to get out but hopefully we might get a bit of a spring run and yeah as I say if you can you know help us out fancy a session let us know drop it in the comments below and um yeah drop us a message and get back on the cod quest possibly but yeah we're probably going to give it another I don't know half hour or something today another couple of chunks we'll sort of use through the bait as well but the little free boom rig ready to go we'll get out of there and see if we can't sign off with the last bit Well, last cast of the day we're pretty much at the top of the tide as well and almost a slack water but if I'm honest there's not really been a lot of tide run all day bearing in mind you know we've alternated between the rolling leads there's been very very little movement and yeah whether that's, that's had an impact on the size of the fish I don't know but I feel like there's a little bit of weight on here this is on the on the free hook free hook little boom rig so we'll see what we've got nice to sign off with a Another fish or two, even if they are small. No. Finishing it with a blank. Still plenty of bait on there as well. But I do hope you've enjoyed it all the same. As I say, it was a little bit of a session today, really. Blow away the cobwebs, because it's just been so long. But as I said, fingers crossed this year we're going to be out, hopefully doing a little bit more. Certainly more so than we did last year anyway, because that was non-existent. So yeah but as i said if you do live you know around a different part of the country perhaps up north in the humber something like that and you know we could come join you for a day you could point us in the right direction it would be very much appreciated but all that's left to say is a massive thank you for watching please don't forget to hit that subscribe button give the video a like if you're pleased we're back on the beach and be lucky and we'll see you again on the next one